I call on you, my God, for you will answer me. Answer me. Turn your eye to me and hear my prayer. Show me the wonders of your great love. You who save by your right hand, those who take refuge in you from their foes. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings from the wicked who are out to destroy me. Sit with those words for a moment. This is a, a cry to God, a demand for his care, for his provision. So as you sit with these words from the psalmist in Psalm 17, I invite you to take a couple of moments to simply begin to lift up to the Lord the prayers that are on your heart. What are the things that have sat heavy with you this week? Take a moment to simply offer those to the Lord. Now hear these words from Matthew 6. Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink or about your body, what you will wear. Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? See how the flowers of the field grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? So do not worry, saying, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? Or how is my child going to get through school? Or how are you going to pay rent next month? Or is it okay to go to the grocery store or meet up with friends? Do not worry about all of these things. Your Heavenly Father knows what you need. But seek first His kingdom and His righteousness. And all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Lord, we thank you for this reminder this morning that you are intimately involved in even the smallest parts of your creation, spinning the flowers into being, providing for the smallest sparrow. We thank you for that reminder, Lord, that in the same way you are actively taking care of us. We admit, Lord, that there are many things that weigh heavy on our hearts, that we do not have answers to, that we are out of control regarding. And Lord, we do not like that. And so we lift all of these different areas up to you. We lift up to the people up to you the people that are heavy on our hearts and lord we ask you to be lord in each one of these situations to be the loving father to each person on our minds in each situation on our hearts lord thank you for loving us thank you for being with us and we do ask, Lord, that you would be Lord of all things and that we would have the ability to see the way that your spirit is at work in our city, in our state, in our nation, and around the world this week. Now let's join together in praying the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.